Hello everybody, we are students of first semester of Biosciences and our instructor is Dr. Afan and today we are going to perform a microbiology experiment. So we are going to perform a standard plate count experiment. So let's start our experiment and our first step is of hand washing. Now our step is disinfection. In this step, we performed this disinfection with 75% alcoholic solution. Now, a step is to create aseptic zone. This step is performed to protect our rack from every kind of contamination of microorganisms. Now, we have to form dilution. First of all, we have to take micropipette and take tape of it. Make sure these steps are happened in aseptic zone to avoid contamination. Then we have to take 1 ml sample and inoculate in a flask in which diluent is present. Then we have to keep it to mix the solution well and then we have to inoculate sample from that flask from, from the diluted flask to other test tube in which only diluent is present. Then we have to take 1 ml sample and inoculate in other test tube. Now we have to keep the test tube to get solution mixed well and seal all bottles to avoid contamination. Now we have to take a 1 ml of solution from that test tube and then inoculate in a third test tube. Then by this method three dilutions are formed. Now for fourth dilution again we have to inoculate a sample from that test tube from last test tube to another test tube by this way four dilutions are formed and by this this whole step is completed now our step is to inoculate media in plates Now, as you can see, we will inoculate and prepare dilution in plates. Now, in this step, we will take a micropipette and first of all, we will inoculate a sample, a solution of first dilution into MRS agar, in which we will check the presence of lactic acid producing bacteria. After that, we will again inoculate a sample from the first dilution into plate of nutrient agar to check colony forming units. After that we will change the tip of our micropipette and then inoculate second dilution into nutrient agar to check colony forming units in second dilution. Then we will again change a tip of micropipette and then inoculate a solution of last dilution into nutrient agar to check the growth of colony forming units present in last dilution. Now we will place our plates in incubator at 37 degrees celsius temperature for 24 hours. Now finally we will count the colony forming units after 24 hours of incubation. Make sure the colony forming units should be between range of 30 cells to 300 cells. Then we will put number of colony forming units in a formula to find colony forming units per ml in our dilutions.